our coach um, your squad is named a, a variety of players local uh, based foreign based young and veterans what made you select such a squad for these two games so a lot of a lot of things that come come into the head when you when you select a squad now it's not only for these two matches because we play um, Mexico in Mexico then a week later after this camp is finished and then we play another game in New York against Guatemala in in April so four matches and first and foremost we like to see as many players get a chance to play and show themselves um, uh, for our decision how, how we will select the Gold Cup squad. So that is one thing. We, we like to see as many players play and give them a chance to play uh, before we select the Gold Cup squad. That is one thing. Number two, uh, a lot of or almost all of the FIFA windows will be official matches. So it gives us very little time when it, when it comes to 224 at least to to do tests on players, so it's good to be able to see at least the younger players, if they will play or not much, I don't know, but we would like to see them, because it's not all about the 90 minutes. The players stay on the pitch, it's about how they behave in our squad, how they how they do in a camp that is a week, how they, how they do in our working environment, so on the pitch, off the pitch is, is equally important for us. So we like to get to know the players both on and off the pitch. That is one thing. Young players need, of course, experienced players with them. Uh, and we expect now we have four players, if I remember, around 30 plus. So it's Sule, uh, Kema Forster, it's uh, Ravel and uh, Maps, of course, a little bit older than the others. So we expect them to be the leaders uh, in this camp to, to give from their experience to the younger kids. Uh, both on the pitch and off the pitch. When will you have the full squad together? Say again? When will you have the full squad together? Uh, so tomorrow the, the guys from England will fly in. Today was just to meet the players, to see how, how, uh, how well they came off this weekend matches. And it seems that most of them are fit and ready to go for full training tomorrow. So that was one of the reasons we, we started them today, just to get them here to, to see how, how how last weekend treated them. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow afternoon, I think the, the whole squad will be here. How many games do you intend to give the young ones in the squad? How many games consecutively do you intend to give the young ones in the squad? I know what they need, what they need. So we have now two games against Trinidad, a lot of young players in the squad. And I think we counted 12 players without a senior cup. So it's a lot of unexperienced players. So as you, you would guess that we cannot play them all at the same time. But, uh, but we'll for sure see some new faces play for Jamaica and hopefully they will do good. If they do good, then they, they will get another chance sooner maybe, rather than later. But at least it's their chance now to show both in these minutes that we play Trinidad, but also on the sessions and off the sessions or on meetings and how they behave in a group to, to take their place and, and, and the right. Coach, what will it take um, for any of these youngsters um, to continue to be a part of your squad going forward? Just to show that they are listening to the tactical information that we are we are trying to implement. Uh, also, the the mental aspect of being a professional in this environment is is, is good. Uh, is is good. Is necessary, and then to take the chance when they get it on the pitch. But most of us will judge a player by the minutes he, they get on the pitch. But it's for me, it's so much more than that. Uh, coach, you know, um, some of the have some of UK players that are probably on the pitch, like what is Jamaica. How much? How important it is to make sure that you get them into this kind of environment? And are the players that you've called up for this camp? are those players that you have them earmarked to, um, to represent Jamaica and make the full switch? No, most of these players already have played youth national team games for Jamaica. I think most of them have. So they were already on our list of play possible players in the future. And now uh, a friendly gives us a chance to think further than today, further than winning this match. We, we, we of course, as 
I've already started thinking about 2026, and the guys who are now 19 will be 23 years old in 2026. So, yeah, it gives us a, a, a chance to look further ahead in time, and that is great for a coach to, to be able to do that. But, of course, we like to win, and I know that we will be judged upon if we win or lose, not if we are thinking two years ahead, three years ahead, or four years ahead. In, in the last interview, uh, we had that uh, on the field, that's at Captain Horst Burrell, you did say that the local base players could have an advantage if they assimilate your your thoughts and, and, and your philosophy well. Mm -hmm. uh, are you seeing any that are... P players here? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of good players. I've seen a lot of matches now, both on, on TV and, and live here in Jamaica. There's a lot of talented players. Maybe some would deserve to be in the squad from their performance. Some of them maybe are a little bit older than I wanted. Uh, but but anyway, it's it's this is a chance now for these guys. Then we have other matches, and then maybe we see new faces from the local league. Uh, and then if somebody will really perform and, and act well in the group, then we will see them again. And this is the chance for these guys to, to stake a claim in the, in the squad against Mexico. Is, is there an age limit to the players that you are looking at? Is, is, do you say you're not going to pick, as you mentioned, at 19 will be 23? Yeah. Is it that you're looking at, say, uh, 27 will make your squad, 29 will make your squad? No, no, no it's, it's, it's basically what I'm saying with the selection. We have an 18-year-old or a 17-year-old here. And we have a 35 year old so I'm not no if if a player is good enough he's good enough if he is if he is 17 or if he is 40 if he's good enough then we should select him now it's a friendly then it's more like testing so I take for example now uh, maps for his his experience because he's in that position that can help a lot of the players but in in general in in a, on official match of course we just select the best players. I know that you think a lot. I mean, you, you, you think in the future. So try to think you're not, a lot. You're not somebody who thinks today. What percentage of this squad that you've selected now could represent Jamaica at the Gold Cup coming up in, in June? It's, it's not basically me who, who's going to answer that question. It's them who will answer that question, especially now, the next, after next week. And we, you can ask me this again, and, and we can evaluate who, who did well and who, who, who did not well. But... But uh, everyone has a chance, and I hope I'm showing it. I, I, I'm taking kids from the from school football, and I'm taking players from the highest level in in, in football from 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 England. And so, so it, it really is not where they come from, how old they are. We're not selecting them by some criteria at this moment. Have you seen all 25? Oh, sorry, have you seen all members of the squad selected, or did you? select someone recommendation have you personally seen them play all of them I, no i cannot say i've, I've seen uh, delano and dante so it's based on prior what they did prior and dante is coming from an injury so he hasn't played for a while and he's more taken here to to see him on the on the training session so i don't expect for, to to play him because he's coming from an injury but i like to see him uh, so it's two, three players I haven't seen much. Same with uh, Hutchinson, I haven't seen him much. Only the matches he played for Chelsea, I've, I've seen that these minutes. So it's yeah, it's more or less from what I've heard, from my, what I'm recommend, uh, what have been recommended, and what my kind of basic knowledge of football tells me to do. Um, coach, in terms of you talked previously about when overseas players come here um, to try and make sure they get an environment to make sure that not only they're comfortable but they're in the right place in terms of to, to be successful. Um, with the kids that you've brought over from the UK, is this a kind of preview of what you're trying to do in terms of recruitment wise, in terms of um, the policy? What if we see more UK based players or, we will, or will it be in terms of a mix of the, the local base? Oh, there's a, there's a lot of questions in one question. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope this is something that will I, I will continue to be open-minded about players. I hope we will attract interest of good players who want to play for Jamaica. And I know most of these players, the young players here, will not help me in the short run. 
but they will help Jamaica in the future, and that is how we should think, because the future will come whether we will be ready or not. So I will not get the credit. There will be probably the next coach or, or the third, uh, as, as Jamaica has been hiring coaches, probably the fourth or fifth coach from me will, will, will benefit from this. But no, this is how we should, and hopefully we can, we can, we can change that thought process to, to think further ahead, uh, not only what, what is good for me today. What type of football are you expected to play? Attacking football or a defensive style football? What's your plan going forward? No, my, my plan would be to win the, win the matches. So if we if we need to attack with attacking football to win the game, we will do that. If we play Argentina and we know we need to defend, then we will we will do that. But we will we will be hopefully uh, a well drilled, uh, compact unit when we don't have the ball. Whether that means dropping back or pressing high, it depends on the opponent, it depends on who we are playing. But when we have the ball, I hope we can be free-flowing, free-flowing and using the strength of Jamaica, which is speed and flair and players who, who can take opponents on. So that is my wish, if we can succeed with that, hopefully. What do you know about Trinidad and what can we expect? Honestly, uh, I've been focusing on Jamaica, and I think that's well, well worth all the time I have to focus on Jamaica and the Jamaican footballers. So I have had help from good people to scout uh, Trinidad, and my assistant coaches, both Meron and, and John, will have the meeting, the, the videos ready for that, but I have had really good help scouting uh, Trinidad uh, and, the, and, the, and the same for me again uh, uh, for Mexico I will do more scouting of, of Mexico um, but anyways my job is to focus on the guys that wear the, the yellow shirt are they specific to what you want what you're looking for or is it a situation where you take the opponents that are available no, no, that was, that was available. I grabbed it with both arms because I wanted to see as many players as possible for for uh, for the Gold Cup this summer. Because you know, I'm I only started January officially to work for Jamaica, so two months for a coach is is not enough time to to see all the players that are available to play. So to have many matches before the selection helps me tremendously. Coach, these will be your first games on home soil. How much are you looking forward to this experience? At home? Yeah, I very much look forward to it. I hope the, the, the pitch in Mobay will be as good as this one. This is the best one I've seen. Uh, so I hope the, the Mobay pitch will be will be ready and we, we can play a, a good football. But I hope as well that um, that the, the the people, the fans will come and support these, these, these boys. Um, if I can say something... Uh, regarding team selection and the people, we all have our opinions on who should be selected, who should play. Uh, but I think one thing that we can learn from the Germans is that once when uh, a squad is selected, then the people, they stand behind the squad. After the tournament, they, they can criticize. Uh, and that is the difference between Germans and most others. Maybe you're not happy, but you support the players that will represent you as a nation so you should you should gather behind these kids these these boys these players and and come to the pitch and and uh, we will probably show about better performance if we have more people supporting us thank you coach thank you i don't know this is jeremy lynch jamaican international straight out of vietnam from binding fc and you're watching eddie vision please like click subscribe share and tell a friend out.